Hello and welcome to my new channel, Art of Cartomancy. My name is J. David R. Curie. I am a professional cartomancer. I am also author of the Art of Cartomancy blog. This is an introductory vi video for my new YouTube channel. What I want to do is record videos, educational videos, that demonstrate readings with playing cards and also with the uh, Italian Sibylla cards. I have been reading the playing cards for many, many years, actually um, since I was 12 or 13. I was introduced to the playing cards by my grandmother. Uh, she read the playing cards and uh, she got me started. Unfortunately, she passed away when I was 13, which was not very long after I first learned her card meanings. So she wasn't available to train me uh, long term, sadly. Although I'm, I am in connection with her um, from the other side. And she does assist me in my readings. All right, then in the 1980s, uh, I guess it was around early 1980s, maybe 1981, 1982, I came across this book called It's Written in the Cards by Dr. Leo Lewis Martello. And what fascinated me about this book was that it was compatible with my grandmother's method. It was quite a bit expanded. It contained a lot more information. It contained expanded card meanings um, and various techniques and a lot of information on the psychology of reading. But I fell in love with this book, and over the years, this book has become my Bible. I would say that I was influenced most by this book by um, Dr. Martello. And I actually had the opportunity to speak with him, uh, to communicate with him, um, again, back in the 1980s. I think he passed away in 2000. And uh, he was an, an interesting person, really interesting person. Then, not long after, maybe a year or two later, I came across another book. And this came as a huge surprise, because this book by Regina Russell, uh, from the famous Boston Tea Room up in Quincy, Massachusetts, this book um, is also compatible with not only my grandmother's system, but Dr. Martello's system. So... Um, Regina Russell claims never to have studied Martello's book, uh, and there's no reason not to believe her, but I get the feeling that these systems all uh, stem from a similar or the same source. And that source, um, in my mind, is um, the Italian playing card tradition. And the reason why I say that is because my grandmother learned to read the playing cards. Um, she learned to read from her aunt, I believe. And the popular playing card deck for reading for cardamancy in Italy is the Italian playing card deck, such as this one. This one here is the uh, Neapolitan playing cards from northern, or from actually from southern Italy. These come originally from the Spanish tradition, but these are the traditional Nabolidan, the Neapolitan playing cards. And I believe that my grandmother may have originally learned on a deck like this. I don't know that for sure. I never saw her use this kind of deck. I've only ever seen her use the regular um, American style playing cards with the French symbols. Um, but. I suspect that she started with this deck. And I talked a little bit about Dr. Leo Lewis Martello. I'm not sure, he's written several books and I've read probably, I think I've read all of his books. Um, he wrote a lot about um, witchcraft. He uh, comes from a line of um, Italian witches from Sicily. 
And in one of his books, he mentioned that he learned to read the playing cards from a strega, an Italian witch. And I believe that was when he was living in Italy as a as a as a adolescent. And if he learned to read the playing cards in Italy, chances are that he learned to read the Italian playing cards. Then, when I finally made this connection, I, which is fairly recently actually, um, I started studying the Italian playing cards, and I began. Um, listening to videos um, on YouTube from some of the masters who read with the Italian playing cards. And I found that there are so many similarities uh, between the Italian playing cards and the system that I use for playing cards. It just it astounded me that they're so close. In fact, they are so close that now I'm able to read these very easily, the Italian playing cards, with no trouble at all. They're so similar. The meanings are so similar. All right, as I said, I plan to use this channel as um, an educational platform um, to present lessons in cardamancy and also in Sibylla. These are the Sibylla cards. And the Sibylla cards are also, they're up, well, a bunch of them are upside down, but the Sibylla cards are also very, very much like the playing cards, the meanings. For example, the four, which I'm probably going to have, it's probably going to be at the end of the deck. The four of spades. In my system of the playing cards is the sick bed. And in the Sibylla, it looks like it is at the end. I actually missed it. And in the Sibylla, the Four of Spades is Amalato, which is the sick, the sick man, the sick one. All right. Okay, if you are at all interested in learning to read the 52 card standard playing card deck, then please subscribe to my channel. I will be posting video lessons. I'll also be posting sample readings. I love to do um, mysteries, read on mysteries, for example, uh, missing people, um, events, what really happened. As a matter of fact, I've been wanting to do a reading on the death of Natalie Wood. As a child, I was a huge fan of Natalie Wood. Uh, I saw I think it was um, Gypsy when I was maybe, I don't know, 10 years old. And I fell in love with her. She was my childhood crush, uh, celebrity crush. And uh, her death really disturbed me. So I've never actually laid the cards to see, to see what the cards can tell me about the circumstances surrounding her death. There's a lot of controversy. Um, there's a lot of... Um, mixed information. Uh, no one seems to know for sure what happened. In fact, I think they recently reopened the investigation. I'm not sure if it's still open at this time. There hasn't been any uh, real publicity recently. But I want to know. I want to see. I want to see if I can figure out, you know, something, get some answers that'll just satisfy me. You know, I think she was a, a wonderful actress and she was a rare beauty. But anyway, so if you are interested in cardamancy at all, please subscribe. And uh, I'll see you again soon with another video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.